I had someone ask me the other day, what do you do if you run out of ideas on what to post as far as content? And the answer is very simple. There's so, there's much more content than there are days of the year, but you just have to kind of segment and, and really think about what you're gonna do and plan in advance. So I'm gonna give you four tips on my go-tos on, on coming up with ideas on what to post not only for our page, but our, our clients' pages when we handle their, their accounts. Uh, and the first tip is to look for local trends or local news and blend in with those topics. So in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now, one of the hot topics is uh, a lot of companies are moving here from out of town to cities like Plano and Allen McKinney uh, for businesses such as Toyota, Liberty Mutual, and many, many more. And so we're able to come up with ideas on how to get in front of those people, how to talk about the different businesses that are popping up. I know the Cowboys are moving to Frisco. I mean, there's so many things going on locally and we're able to talk about those things. And basically, whatever the water cooler talk is at work, we're able to jump into those trending topics. Of course, it needs to make sense for each industry and you need to, to word it in a way to where it makes sense for, for your business. But whatever people are talking about locally, if you can jump on there, more than likely, you're gonna blend in with the conversation. And when people are searching for those types of things, they'll, they'll find your business, again, being inside in mind and what people are searching for. Number two, and you've heard this before if you ever followed my videos or my blogs, is to simply answer frequently asked questions. That's the biggest thing you can do content-wise, and that's why I'm shooting this video now, and we're gonna create a blog post from it. But because simply someone asked me a question, I jotted it down, so ask your whole team what's the last question you've received. If it's yourself, if you're a one-man show, one-woman show, what's the last question you got? Start jotting those questions down. Start answering those questions with with uh, with social media posts. Number three is be a problem solver. Solve problems. Make a list of what the most common problems are for your customer base. So if you're uh, a, a, an air conditioning company, it could be that your common problems are your heating bill or your, your electric bill in general, whether it's summertime, whether it's wintertime, whatever the case may be. If you can start to s solve those problems through tips and, and through posts, you're able to build that trust because you're, you know, people love when you solve their problems and they'll remember you when they have a quote unquote real problem or a bigger problem that they can't solve on their own. Number four, which is probably one of my favorite ones, is to overcome objections with your post. And and I like to do this by addressing the objection head on with a story. So for instance, for us, it could be um, you know, a, a business, some business owners think that, well, hiring a social media company to do my social media could be very expensive or I can't afford it. And we can write a post stating we have a client that first thought that our services were going to be too expensive. But when we showed them time and time again the return on the investment, they stayed with us for two years, three years, etc. So you get the idea. Just make a list of your most common objections and start to unpack those and solve those through client stories. So again, uh, you could be a lawnmower company and, and someone say, well, you know, I did the math and it's, it's way more expensive to hire someone to do it than to do it myself and I enjoy doing it. And you can say something to the fact that, you know, I had, you know, someone similar tell me that, you know, they, they thought that it was more cost effective to do it themselves, but when they found out was they were, losing time and they suffered from allergies etc so you get the idea just make a make a list of of the most common objections that you and your sales team get and start knocking those out with story type posts um, i hope this helps you rack your brain on what am i going to post today just go to these four things and figure out what you're going to post and i guarantee you you'll run out of um, days before you run out of content